10 years ago, I always felt, I felt isolated. And now I feel like we're part of the crowd. So, so that's, that's exciting. stumbled upon organic agriculture. I uh, I was first introduced to gardening as a Peace Corps volunteer and I just kept stumbling upon farms that were practicing organic agriculture and so I developed my skills within that within that framework. So I've, I've been interested in farming since I was an undergraduate student and um, I studied biology and environmental conservation. I was interested in getting in greater contact with my food supply, like you know, being more engaged with my food supply on a daily basis. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I I consider myself an environmentalist. I, I care about environmental issues. I do, um, and I think there are varying definitions of that. So I guess my definition is, with my profession, I guess maybe that falls within an environmentalist um, in the sense that we're trying to reduce inputs and really. Uh, use our resources wisely so that they're here for the long term beyond us, you know, for the next generation. Um, but within my lifestyle, uh, you know, Matt and I are avid composters in our household. We don't just compost the dining hall's food waste, we compost our own kitchen waste. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really opposed to plastics. I think the focus of our farm could be considered under the theme of like regenerative. Like we're doing a lot of work here to support regeneration of natural resources and the conservation of natural resources. We've seen, even in just the 10 years, 11 years that we've been here, um, our farming community become more interested in organic. Organic farming is the fastest growing sector of agriculture. Mm -hmm. So that means that people are switching, right? If you were to think of modern industrial um, models of agriculture, I think production outweighs uh, regeneration uh, and regeneration comes in the forms of outside inputs whereas we're trying really hard to create a closed loop system and I think that's what kind of sets us apart and that there has to become a hybrid, a hybridization has to occur between conventional systems and the other sustainable systems. The summer just really informs students of their place in in the environment and I mean it's the it's their work it's their office every single day and so um, I think that that yields itself to connecting one's self more to nature so we interact a lot with uh, natural systems um, much more than we would say in a you know like a factory you put up a wall and you turn on the lights and you have all, all that control but out on the farm it's it's very much an interaction between uh, nature and humans Agriculture is a modification of natural ecosystems, but I think that what we're trying to do here is we're trying really hard to in reintroduce natural ecosystems so that ecosystem services can take place. How do we integrate ecosystems um, in a way to sustain our production? The modern population is very disconnected from everything that's outside their windows or cars. It's a reality that I, I don't know. Um, but we are the exception more than the norm in terms of by virtue of the work that we do. Where previously my house was like where I felt most comfortable indoors, sheltered. Now that's kind of like I try to stay outside as much as possible. Be I've become more intimate, I guess, with the environment that I'm working in. I saw it as like a two-dimensional canvas and now I see it as a much more complex multi-dimensional, multi-layered multi um, place. A newfound appreciation for energy and 
that means for me eating good food so that I can take in energy that can then be expended to plant food and harvest food and pull calories in the ground that then feed other people and fuel them to do the work that is making positive change. One of my favorite parts about farming is just working with my hands and I weirdly like weeding and like playing in the dirt so it makes me feel really connected to the environment and like I don't know you're like connected to whether it's sunny and hot or raining like you're always outside in the elements. I love the physicality of it. Mm -hmm. I really feel my best like I am my best when I'm working with my body, um, when I'm outside, um, and I really, I'm a very goal-oriented person, and so the tangible outcomes of my work and the immediate rewards of my work uh, really fulfill me. Really exploring no-till systems within a vegetable operation is like really exciting to me, um, so that we're doing less disturbance to the soil, less destruction to the soil, keeping more carbon in the soil, um, but then above the ground, I love weeding. Walking through the livestock and, and uh, interacting with the cows, the cattle is really satisfying. Lastly, is I'm constantly learning. So I think that uh, I also thrive in a place where I'm constantly learning and being challenged and working outdoors and nature. Mm -hmm. um, there's no rule book or no guidebook and so you're kind of troubleshooting on a regular basis mm. and I like that. Organic farming creates a greater and stronger relationship to the food we consume, to the people we meet, of all shapes and sizes. To the land we love. We've been together all these years together, and I remember each and every day. It's just mostly a matter of like how hard people want to work. Beautiful.